Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into a topic that affects millions of men worldwide, prostate cancer. But don't worry, we're breaking it down in a way that's easy to understand, backed by stats and science. We will walk through a real-world case of a gentleman named Alan, and how he and his doctor made the right treatment choice for him. Let's get into it. First, let's talk numbers. Prostate cancer is one of the most common cancers in men. According to the American Cancer Society, about one in eight men will be diagnosed with prostate cancer in their lifetime. That's a big deal. But here's the thing. Not all prostate cancers are the same. Some grow fast and need immediate treatment, while others progress so slowly that they may never cause problems. In fact, Studies show that up to 60% of prostate cancers are low risk and may not require aggressive treatment right away. Now, let's talk about Alan. Alan was diagnosed with prostate cancer at stage T, 1, C, N0, M0. Okay, what does that even mean? Let's break it down. T1, C means the cancer was found through a PSA blood test, but isn't large enough to be felt during a physical exam. In 0, means there's no spread to nearby lymph nodes. M0 means there's no spread to distant parts of the body. So, Alan's cancer was caught early, which is great news. Alan's PSA level at diagnosis was 13.8 nanograms per milliliter. Now, PSA, or prostate-specific antigen, is a protein produced by the prostate. Higher levels can indicate cancer, but it's not a perfect test. A PSA above 10 does raise concern, but it doesn't always mean aggressive cancer. In Alan's case, a biopsy showed a Gleason score of 7, 3 plus 4. The Gleason score ranges from 6 to 10 and tells us how aggressive the cancer is. A score of 7 means Alan's cancer is intermediate risk, not the lowest risk, but not the most aggressive either. Now, here's where things get interesting. Alan had a few treatment options. 1. Active surveillance, regular checkups, PSA tests, and biopsies, but no immediate treatment. 2. Radiotherapy with hormone therapy, using radiation to kill cancer cells, often combined with hormone therapy to slow cancer growth. 3. Watchful waiting, less intensive than active surveillance, and treatment is only given if symptoms develop. Each option has pros and cons and the choice depends on the patient's age, health, and lifestyle. Let's talk about radiotherapy and hormone therapy. While these treatments can be effective, they're not without side effects. Studies show that up to 50% of men experience fatigue, 30 to 40% deal with urinary issues, and 40 to 60% face changes in sexual function. Hormone therapy can also cause hot flashes, mood swings, weight gain, and even increase the risk of heart disease. For older patients or those with existing health conditions, the benefits of these treatments might not always outweigh the risks. Alan is an ex-smoker and someone who still enjoys playing bowls twice a week. He values his quality of life. After talking with his doctor, he realized that while radiotherapy might help prolong his life, it also comes with side effects that could impact his daily activities and overall well-being. So, what did he choose? Alan and his wife Anna decided on watchful waiting. This means regular monitoring and stepping in with hormone therapy only if symptoms develop. Studies show that for older patients with intermediate risk prostate cancer, watchful waiting can be a great option to maintain quality of life without unnecessary side effects. In fact, research published in the New England Journal of Medicine found that men who chose watchful waiting had similar survival rates to those who underwent aggressive treatment, especially when the cancer was low to intermediate risk. So, what's the takeaway? Every case of prostate cancer is different. If you or a loved one are facing a diagnosis, talk to your doctor about your options. Sometimes, doing less is actually doing more for your quality of life. And remember, early detection is key, so don't skip those checkups. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, subscribe for more health breakdowns, and drop your questions in the comments. Until next time, stay informed and stay healthy.